This situation is getting out of hand. The Stargoids arrive tomorrow. And the Xeno Peace supporters are dead. We need answers fast. The link down below has been replaced, but I still urge you to head to the link below, educate yourself, and consider supporting Ukraine financially. All the sources down there have been vetted. Your money will go to the right place. Folks, listen up. The Kingfisher Mega Ship went dark in this sector, and I intend to find it. There is not a lot in this particular system, so it should be easy to find. Yeah, there is not a lot here. They're supposed to be in orbit above this particular planet. <clears throat> On our way out there, because it's 5,000 light seconds away, that's a bit of a drive. I'll explain the situation. So the Thargoid Peace Advocacy Project was headed by the Federation Congress. It was not backed by President Hudson. However, they did give him a mega ship, And there was a player initiative to get it moving. That player initiative worked out. Plenty of people got paid for that. The congressman who was backing the project missed the flight and several news several news sources um, they backed out of it at the last minute and the plan was they were going to come to this system flag down one of the stargoids and see if they can get its attention and see if they can get its attention from there hopefully start figuring out a peace agreement I think we can all... I think we all know how that went. Because, uh... You see that red dot right there, right in the center of the screen? Maybe a little bit? It's the only really red one out there. Here, can I... There it is. That red dot... That's Tyrannus. It's what they're calling Stargoid number one now. Stargoid Tyrannus. And it just... curb stomped right on through here. They didn't even know what hit them. We lost contact with this mega ship, and now... We need to figure out how this happened, what they were hit with, what we're up against, to see if we could get any scan data off this thing. We still don't know if these Stargoids are some new enemy or an old one that we haven't faced since the first Thargoid War 200 years ago. Any attempt to catch up with one of these Stargoids has met with dismal failure. Even if someone can figure out how to get close enough to one of these things, it careens away. And we don't have any interdiction technology that can pull it out of Super Cruise so that we can figure out anything. They are in some form of Super Cruise, we know that. Perhaps the Thargoid version of a frame shift. We haven't exactly figured out Thargoid technology. The Grelics. The green relics that we did in that one video. The Proteus episode. Ramta and Professor Palin are co-opting a project to hopefully give us an edge against these new Stargoid invaders. Because they are all making a direct line towards the core systems. It's gonna be rough. I don't know what the future holds. We'll find out in a day. 
because the Thargoids are on our doorstep now. These things appeared back in late August, and we are now out of time. So, we gotta figure this out. I've scraped together an anti-Thargoid ship of our own. I haven't had a chance to test it. I also haven't had a chance to figure out how exactly we fight these things. Stand by. Scan data is coming in. We have one unidentified signal source. It could be the Kingfisher. This is a large planet. Let's skip the surface scan this time. Kingfisher spotted! Alright. We lost contact with this ship shortly after the Thargoid was set to arrive in system. We can confirm that the Thargoids did destroy this ship. To a certain extent. We're gonna dig through the wreckage and see what we can find. Just like back in 22460. Battleground that will live on in infamy. Shit. I'm seeing hull breaches, a power capacitor. This is a Beckett class science vessel. There's a ship log uplink. Where? I think it's still attached to the hull. Alright, that's the first one. Is there another one? There is. Stand by. onto the Kingfisher. There's a hackable data transmitter, but I don't know if we're gonna get anything out of that. Well, you gotta be kidding me. They're doing that here, too? Shit. Keeping an eye on this thing. There are three logs on this thing. Okay. Going again. I guess the automated defense turrets didn't do much of it, didn't do much. Jeez. Where are these goddamn... We have a limited amount of time here. You gotta be fucking kidding me. It's 
on the ring. We know that now. That would be them back there. Our transmitter is acting up too, or the onboard voice, at least. It's having a hard time as well. All right. It's on the ring. Get moving. That's an uplink. Apparently, yes. Okay. Now, where's number three? There are four, actually. All right. We'll go down this list. Actually, keep it organized this time. I think this is one we already scanned. Let's give it a shot. Yes, it is. Stand by. We're at least gonna figure out where this next one is. That does not help. It's on the underside, it's towards the bow. Frame shift anomaly detected. God damn it, can it wait? We're really close. Okay. Portion it this time. Energy search detected. Frame shift drive. Not if I have anything to say about it. Got it. One more in there. We have to go back. Okay. The last one is this one. Is it another one towards the bow? Ugh. I think so, yeah. No, we already got this one. I'm only seeing two uplinks. Frame shift anomaly detected. Shit. You, you gotta do this in waves. Hmm. Gotta get on a bass lock, thank you. Okay, a lot of them are dropping in when we show up here. Three, two, one, engage. I think it's safe to assume that these guys have control of the system. Okay. That's an audio log. Okay. Here we go. I should start at the 
beginning. <clears throat> this is Dr. Elias Pope, standing aboard the Kingfisher. The megaship smells brand new. All aerosol sprays and adhesives. Our research equipment is current generation. Even the corridors have been polished. Alton Chase sure kept his word. Everyone on board is excited about the mission ahead of us. We've been given the chance to make history. This ship, carrying over 3,000 supporters of the Thargoid Advocacy Project, Jesus aims Christ. to greet the first of the rogue anomalies headed towards the core systems. Tyrannus. We want the first human ship it meets to be one of peace, not war. My role is to lead the team seeking to open communications with the Thargoids. Now, we're hardly going to strike up a conversation anytime soon. We don't even know whether the aliens recognize human communication methods, but we have some ideas. There are multiple methods of sending messages without a shared language. My team has proposed various data sequences, audio cues, light patterns, and such. If we can establish any level of response, then we'll have something to work with. Imagine the incredible opportunities for both our species if we can make contact. True contact. Not just an exchange of weapons fire. If they hurt us... <laughs> I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Our jump to intercept Tyrannus is scheduled for an hour's time. I'll update when we arrive. Three thousand people were on that ship, apparently. Ship of peace, huh? Well, I think they're not here for that. We've reached our destination in Hyades Sector YOQB51 and started our observations. So far, we've been unable to make much headway. Tyrannus signal has decelerated. But our calculations indicate it will still pass us by at a velocity too fast for any meaningful contact unless we get its attention. We're transmitting algorithmic comms, binary encoded hails, and a series of harmonized whistles that don't occur naturally in the galaxy's electromagnetic makeup. Too little noticeable effect, I should add. Our readings confirm Professor Palin's theory that the signal source is massive. If our estimates are correct, Tyrannus dwarfs any man-made starboard. We remain hopeful that the signal has a non-military purpose, but we cannot ascertain its motives through long-range scans alone. Mood aboard the Kingfisher is apprehensive. I believe it is dawning upon the crew that while we truly wish to make peaceful contact, Thargoids themselves may not be listening. I have to admit, I'm beginning to wonder whether we made the right decision by coming here. If only we had a sign that our efforts meant something. So now he's having second thoughts, huh? <sighs> How'd that work out for you, buddy? Let's see. This is Dr. Elias Pope. I'm standing on the bridge of the Kingfisher. If you're receiving this transmission, we need federal authorities to cancel system access restrictions. Send help immediately. The ship has been attacked by multiple Thargoid vessels. They swarm the system as Tyrannus passed through. We are defenseless. After days of silence, we heard a noise from the Tyrannus signal moments before it entered the system. I don't have time to analyze it properly, but the Thargoid ships appeared moments later. This mission was doomed from the start. We hoped they would listen, but... I don't know whether I should use one of the remaining escape pods. The helmsmen claimed they saw others that were jettisoned being collected by Thargoid ships. My assistant, she's... She's praying to God she doesn't believe in a miracle that can't happen. I'm thinking of joining her. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Well, 
Well, there you have it. We went looking for peace. And... They saw us looking for peace. And spat in our mouth. <laughs> Kingfisher is gone. Our efforts for peace are gone. We have no answers as to what attacked them. And we have no idea what we're dealing with. Tyrannus didn't even stop. We are on the eve of something terrifying. And I don't know if we are prepared for it. And I think we need to be ready for any possible outcome, including the burning of the bubble. <laughs>